Now, let me start with a very simple question. What do you always do when you are on subway? I saw adults sending messages, I saw youngsters posting photos and videos on Instagram, WeChat and so on. In this situation, will reading a paper book be antisocial? Frankly speaking, if I don't have a strong desire to read, I will naturally take my phone and watch some videos online until arriving at the station, just like everyone else. Back to 2020, you can see that the number of internet users in China have already reached 1.07 billion, accounting nearly 80% of the population. And back to the world, you can see that the number of internet users are always increasing. So the issue is that, why can't we into stop entering social media? From one hand, we cannot stop the progress of technology. And from the other hand, it's not simply for communication. There's a higher demand purpose, and that's the connection. This is a nova connected world. Just like Catherine said, we always want to keep in touch with those people we care about. We always want to know the concerns and celebrations. We always want to know what they're doing and thinking. And most importantly, we always want to share our wisdom. This is a nova connected world, which we always keep an eye on the comments from a little book, for example. We always keep an eye on the how many likes we got after posting photos. We always pay much more attention of others and affected by the same time to forget who we were. And this is one of, my, one of my real experiences. What I'm going to talk about next is that majority of parents tend to be sensitive about and resistant to. At my school age, dating is common. So in my junior high school, I met a girl, and one day she told me that I really want a boyfriend. I asked her why, and she answered, I saw all people displaying affections in my moments of WeChat. They all had hands together. They're so sweet. But I don't have, so I want to date. At that moment, I was totally stunned because I realized that the connection can deeply and potentially change people's mind, even though we don't aware of it. We tend to follow others because we don't want to be abnormal in group. And that's the instinct. Going further, if people don't have such ability to change the positions and they will fit and they feel abnormal at the same time, what will happen? The anxiety will arise. If all people on the internet are spreading their stars, a parent's anxiety will arise. If all people on the internet are richer than you, money anxiety will arise. If all people on the internet are not more successful than you, they are all highly educated, they all have broad social networks, and most importantly, they all have a satisfied and decent job. In this situation, you don't have any. So at this moment, you will feel frustrated, depressed, and discouraged. And all this negative emotion will lead to anxiety. The point is that we ignore the weight of isolation in the overconnected world. And in fact, isolation and connection were the same, and we have to find the balance. We need to disconnect from plenty of social media platforms and to rethink the, the relationship to the self-environment, leaving ourselves with more personal spaces. To do this, we can keep in a diary, meditation, reading some books. These are good ways to help us create our own spaces. So in this process, instead of being anxious and affected by the same time, we tend to be calm and rational, to think independently. And now let's go back to the first situation. Now if I ask you, will you read a paper book in the subway? I want to say, as long as we don't make any decisions only based on the connections from outside, then it's our freedom to choose whatever we like. However, if you are abnormal, there's no need to be afraid. Because this world is built up with individuals with independence. Lastly, I will show you one of my favorite quotes by Thoreau. And this sentence 
is writing in his three year isolated period. He said, to maintain one's self enough is not, post, is not a hardship, but a pastime. It will live simply and wisely. How to live simply and wisely? Well, firstly, he should live in a both isolated and a connected world. I'm Karen, thank you.